I had no plans to vlog. Assalamualaikum. I'm trying to get out of here. Um, yeah. It took a while to get here. Now I'm trying to get out. No, I'm not right. Yeah, so it is Saturday, Mother's Day weekend, and I am at the hospital. Um, hmm. <laughs> it took a while for us to get here. And now I'm trying to get out of here and I don't know how I'm going to come back here. Because this is crazy. This place is huge. Uh, I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. And I'm here. I took my daughter here. They need to do some studies. They call sleep study. So she's going to be here the whole day. Uh, the whole night, actually. I said, excuse me, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm going over the bridge and parked at Cambridge. You want to paint? You want to ballet? Uh, no, Cambridge. You I'm parked at Cambridge. You parked at, you parked at Cambridge? Yeah. That's at UT Hill? Yes. Oh, yeah, you fall, oh, man. Okay, so, <laughs> so you, you got to go over the sky bridge and everything. Yes, right? yeah. Okay, so you're going to go down. You see? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a huge place. So anyway, so she's going to be here. We were here since morning, and uh, so she, since she's asleep, I'm going to go home, make some breakfast, take care of the other two kids. My house is in a mess. My husband has moved in from out of, uh, out of, no, uh, out of another city. Uh, he, he used to live in another city and come here, uh, visit us on weekends, and then... Uh, yeah, visit us on weekends and then uh, now he's uh, moved back with us so with all his furniture uh, I don't know how many years furniture is with him, with us my house is in a big big mess and I been trying to I don't even remember what he told me but I'll figure my way out but this place here is beautiful I think I'll go through the beautiful area when I came, there was this place that was so beautiful, uh, and um, they got balloons. I don't know, is this for Mother's Day or what? I don't know. Oh yeah. I remember coming through this way, but so there's a shop here. Okay. Oh. I did come through this way, I know. I remember this beautiful place that I came. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful place. At least it makes you feel good <laughs> if you're sick. At least you are you're in a beautiful hospital. Um, okay, now let me focus and try and figure out how to get out of here. So I need to go to the sky bridge to get out of here. Even though it doesn't look familiar from the way I came. Uh, this is not where I came. I came through a beautiful area. Yeah, but I did come through the sky bridge. So I guess I can go from here. But this is pavilion. Ooh. This is not how I came. I knew this was going to happen. And actually, Alicia is the one who always remembers the directions. Uh, you know, how to get in and out of all these places. Uh, but it's okay. It's, I'm in the air-conditioned area. So I'm not hot. But my parking time is moving. So I need to get out of here because I'm going to be paying a lot of money for parking. So 
I need to get out of here as quick as I can. <coughs> okay, <laughs> finally I found my way out. I don't know how I'm going to come back here. Um, I think I know. I'll probably figure out. Anyway, so this is a nice, beautiful place. Very neat. And it's Saturday morning. There are not many people. I think people only those who are visiting. I thought I knew my my way out. Yeah, I passed here this morning. You know, I passed this cafe. This cafe. Okay, so finally, <laughs> I met the bridge. This is beautiful. I really love this place. You know, walking here, other than paying the parking, it's pretty beautiful. Look at this. Donate. Donate life. It's really done beautifully. And, uh, yeah, maybe I can show you here. There's this, this whole area. You can't see much from my video, but this is the medical district. So it's all, it's all hospitals. By the way, Texas, Houston has the best hospitals in the country. So the medical district has got a lot of hospitals and the parking is crazy. I mean, there's plenty of parking. It's just that you have to know where you're going, which most of the times we don't because we don't come here to the hospitals every day or especially to be admitted. So it's always a hassle for me to come to find my place, to find where to park. But now I think when I come back, I'll know where to go <laughs> so that way I don't have to walk a lot. You see how beautiful this is? This is so beautiful. Like I've said, if I didn't have to pay so much for the parking, I probably would have stayed around and looked around. I pay for my parking before I get out of here. So this is the parking fee. Yeah, four hours up to 24 hours is only $20. So this is what I'll be doing when I come back. But right now, I gotta pay. They have a boutique here. If you're feeling rich. Yeah, because it's Saturday, I think everything is closed. Hmm, not bad. If you wanna buy last minute gifts. There's some beautiful painting. I love painting. I really love painting. So the gift shop, like any other gift shop, you have different things, some jewelry, sunglasses, so this is, so they have a nice, uh, I don't know, monument here, and this is out on the street. People are walking. The weather is really beautiful. A little cloudy, but it's really nice. So, but I'm going to the garage area. So, I'm going to the different direction. Today, at least, I, today at least I remembered where I'm parked. The last time I went to the hospital, it took me like almost 15 minutes trying to find my car, not knowing where I parked. So it's raining. So this is Rice. On the left is a Rice University, which is one of the most expensive universities. And this is a museum district also. So there is an art museum, there is a Japanese garden. There's a lot of things that you can see in this area. It's also a touristic area. So if you're coming to Houston, 
this is the place you want to be. So the traffic is less because it's Saturday and it's, uh, you know, and it's raining. So I'm able to capture this uh, beautiful scenery for you guys. And uh, this is our Hotel Zaza. On the left is the roundabout, the only roundabout that I've seen in Houston. So I'm home sweet home, but I cannot park my car in the garage because it is full of junk, full of junk. So we're just gonna stay here. Okay, so we got all these, the bed. This is my wrist. It keeps falling off the door. I really love it, but I don't know what to do. So all these, this is my side, which I've done a lot before, but I try to rearrange. I still have my books here. These ones need to go in the house because, you know, with the summer. And, you know, I got all my stuff boxed up. And we still have these ones to empty. They probably just be this way because there's a lot. And I've got my baking things here. So yesterday I just came back and dumped just to clear the space. I mean to create some space so that way I can put his things. Oh, oh my gosh. This is uh, this is an extra sofa set that we have i wasn't planning to do much with this area because um uh, we're renting this place and uh, i didn't want to i mean for two years we've already stayed here for a year so i didn't want to buy furniture and then we move and then the furniture doesn't fit in another place but uh, i was also using this space for my you know entertaining to keep them you know the food so what i need to do basically because it's not my style or my color so what i'm planning to do is i'm just going to change these cushions and uh, get a fabric of a different color something bright or maybe some earth colors to clear this and uh, yeah we got some pillow here yeah and this huge thing so i don't know i may need to rearrange the space or maybe i can get cushions that would go with this color of the rug yeah i did a little bit of this room yesterday uh, so he's going to have his dining table over here as an office so this needs to be done i just put those in the corner and some stuff here in the corner so now we have two printers one was ours and one is his so so we got boxes everywhere boxes everywhere alhamdulillah my living room is clean that's why i like to keep the house clean at night so that way when i come back when i wake up in the morning or when i come back at least it's clean and let's see the table. Okay, we got shoes here. The table is okay. I left it like this last night. I mean, I kept it nicely last night. So we still have boxes here. We got some stuff here. I'm telling you, this whole place is a lot of things. I don't know what's all this. Yeah, my husband came in at uh, four this morning, so. Anyway, now I'm going to fix me some breakfast and get some rest. And uh, I'm going to make, you know what I'm going to make? I just thought about it. Since Alicia's not here, you know, she's, she's allergic to seafood. And I had some shrimps that I cooked some time back. I cooked only half of the packet. I think I'm going to make my favorite breakfast, shrimp and grits. I'm going to make grits. Uh, I don't measure, yeah? Because I'm cooking for me. I don't know how many of you know. This is white corn, yeah? White corn, you see? Even the picture shows grits and eggs and shrimps. I never realized that. 
So I've got my grits here. See, I'm almost burning my grits because I was looking for the shrimps. I actually thought I had shrimps. Maybe I used it, but I did find uh, some fish. So I'm going to do that. Just going to add a little more water. Some salt. I usually don't do butter, but uh, because I'm going to have eggs and other things that have oil so i'm not gonna have butter today and i don't know i hope i have some salsa from yesterday because in my house salsa guacamole those things do not last long i'm going to prepare my spinach and mushrooms i've got some olive oil and uh, i prefer to use white onions but i didn't have a little bit of mushrooms i love mushrooms and spinach especially in the morning and especially with the grits you know when i came first in the u.s i never liked grits but i had not tried it i love chipotle you know there are things in life that you have not eaten but you just don't like them for no reason and then one day we went out and i saw this somebody had a plate you know Across the table and I was like what is this I asked the waiter and he said that's shrimp and grits I'm saying let me try it and I fell in love with it and I could have shrimp and grits you know breakfast lunch and dinner but I don't so spinach is my favorite thing by now if you're following me on YouTube or anywhere else you'll hear me and if I can have it also for breakfast lunch and dinner I would so I'm just uh, preparing you know as you can see I've got a few ingredients and I don't measure like I'm you know when I cook for myself I really don't measure only when I prepare a recipe to put it out there because I know there are people they want you to tell them how much of every ingredient that you're adding to your dish so which is okay I got used to that so a little bit of salt and I love chipotle too a chipotle seasoning uh, the chili is really nice it's nice and smoky so it adds uh, some flavors and over here i'm just gonna cook my eggs actually i wanted to make an omelet and then i was like no grits don't go well with omelet so that's a bit too much of oil but anyways and uh, my meal is almost ready it's very very simple but very very filling especially i was hungry that was like about 1 30 in the afternoon so i needed something really really to fill me up my not breakfast anymore this is a brunch with my grits that are almost burnt some fish some beans mm. and some spinach Managed to get some salsa. It's gonna go here and here, and this will be my meal mm -hmm. for the whole day till tomorrow, shall we? Alright. 
I decided to come at the backyard and enjoy the rain. Besides, the men are making too much noise in the house. They're fixing the furniture, uh, the table. So <laughs> it was so funny because when I walked in here, uh, my husband is like, you know, my friend, uh, brother, um, you know, so so is coming to fix a table. Uh, do we have anything to eat? I said, no, I'm just making uh, breakfast. I mean, it's one third in the afternoon. I said, you think there is something for him? I said, you know what? I am so hungry right now. I can't think. Let me fix my stomach first, then I'll figure out how to fix him. <laughs> so he was laughing because he's never seen me like that. Because I'm always, there's always something. Is out. There is something. We have some cake. I can always make him coffee. And besides, probably he's already had lunch. But he's not seen me like so selfish which I'm not honestly but um, I was hungry I couldn't think of anything else you see this thing was not planned uh, we've been waiting for this appointment for almost a year simply because you know when they call us they don't get us then we call them back they don't return the call so we've just been missing each other so finally uh, she got a call yesterday and they said, you know, they had a spot today, Saturday, or on the 23rd. Uh, so I told her, you know what, just take today, just in case something else comes up, and let's just get it out of the way. So I wasn't prepared anything, you know, for the house, you know, for the weekend. I mean, I knew what I was going to do for the weekend, but I wasn't prepared to be out the whole day. So anyway, since she's asleep, I decided to come home and um, I finished my food and um, said my prayers and now I'm going to get some little rest. I'll probably go back uh, to the hospital around uh, four or five o'clock then I'll spend the night there. All right, I'm enjoying the rain. I love the rain. You know, this is one thing that I missed when I was in Oman is the rain. I missed the rain so much. So now I'm enjoying every bit of it. Assalamu alaikum. So it's five o'clock now and I'm going back to the hospital. Like I mentioned, I'll be spending a night. So after I finished with you guys, it, that was, I think, at about around two, two o'clock. I, um, I, I opened two boxes and then at three, I went and took a nap for one hour, three to four. Then I woke up at four and I um, cooked dinner for the rest of the people here in the house <laughs> and yeah my, my Adila made me snow cone maschini I didn't even get a chance to have it so it's already melted but I'll just have it on the way and it's raining so I'm not gonna be blogging just put them top it's really nice so I'll see you later take care Parking is crazy today because of visitation. I've been waiting here for almost 15 minutes just to get in. But <laughs> I'm not going to the other side. This is another side that is easier for me because I've got three bags. I have got my blanket and pillow and my musala in one bag. And I've got one bag with a change of clothes. I'm going to be sleeping on this and I've got my track pants so I've got change of clothes for tomorrow and I've got one bag with the fruits and water and everything whatever we may need for the night I also <laughs> I have my laptop you know just in case uh, you know you never know it's always better to have extra than to have less so inshallah I shall get there on time patience I have no choice though but to be patient. So finally I got a parking level three. It was not so bad. I got my stuff here, <laughs> my laptop, my bags. Oh my god. So yeah, I, I didn't want to park the other side because the walking is too long. And over here it's okay. But well. My lunch, dinner, whatever I had, I already burnt it out. All right, I'll talk to you later. Assalamu alaikum. So, it's Mother's Day today, and I want to wish everybody happy Mother's Day. Of course, by the time I 
post this video it's not gonna be Mother's Day anymore so last night was horrible I was so tired and I could not sleep the the sofa sleeping bed kind of a thing was so horrible so I didn't sleep the whole night it's just that the level of the sofa bed and uh, you have you know the the thing that you stretch to make it's actually a, a single sofa so when you when you open it to stretch it looks like what uh, like the business class uh, you know seat on the aircraft but then it didn't have the same level so my feet my legs actually down from my knee to down it was just hanging because it was not the same level where my body was so I didn't sleep at all I was so so tired this morning so we checked out and I went home cooked myself some breakfast and took a long long nap and now my girls are treating me out and they got me some dessert from black bear and uh, they're going to cook some dinner and uh, we're in this place called Asia town this place is massive one day I think Adila and I are planning to come and have some seafood and noodles and whatever that day probably I'll vlog they've got everything Asian that you can think of they've got I think maybe 10 15 tea shops then they've got another like 20 uh, noodle shops I mean restaurants small restaurants then they've got um, I don't know what but it's like and it's always packed and today of course being Mother's Day it's extra extra packed uh, it's nice it's nice to see everybody outside and uh, the weather is nice it was raining in the morning but it's pretty okay right now so I'll catch up with you later maybe I'll share my dinner with you guys and let's see take care what's this called this is called a bing su which is shaved ice but the ice is like is frozen cream mm -hmm. so it's like fluffy and then I got cheesecake strawberry cheesecake flavor wow and what did Alila go she get? got mango cheesecake Okay, so this is what Alicia gave me for Mother's Day. Okay. I have to see what this is all about. <laughs> but I'm excited. My baby girl. Okay. So this is a scrub, body scrub, I really can't read much, and this is the lotion, body lotion that goes with it, I think it has some Dead Sea or something, it comes from the Dead Sea, what am I talking about, anyway, let me open it, never mind. And this is for the face. Purifying triple power collagen facial peel. Okay. So I guess my next video will be using this. Okay. I just want to see. Oh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any smell. So it's a facial peel. So I'm excited. Now I'm going downstairs for my dinner. My Mother's Day special dinner. We have chicken enchilada with some uh, mango pico de gallo, my favorite, spicy guacamole, and some black beans. Then we're going to have the dessert cake for my dessert it's a pretty big piece and um, I love chocolate cake but I can never get uh, the right one you know it's like every time we buy something from out it's not chocolatey enough so I'm going to try this this is from uh, black bear dinner so let's see It's 
very good. It's supposed to be chocolate cake with dark chocolate ganache. A rich dark chocolate ganache, which is really good the way I like it. <laughs> My kids are looking at me like I'm so weird. And they haven't seen me vlogging. It's new to me too. Um, cake is good. Mm, the ganache is good, but the chocolate needs to be extra chocolatey. But it's moist. It's nice. Adila's looking at me. Anyway, <laughs> we'll have a nice day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye. Take care.